Hey YouTube! I figured we would make a video where we just sit down and chat about some disappointments in life. First of all, I'm much closer to the camera than I usually am. This is a different angle. Tell me if you like it. I got hair in my face. Um, so everything's more like contrasty in the back for me here. Um, I am Edward Cohen currently because I got a little red so I bought a body bronzer to like even it out and I didn't know it was so shimmery. So I don't really know what to do about it. You guys are like up in my grill right now. I'm not used to being this close to the camera. I feel like you can see every imperfection and like crusty lips to the goddamn pimple I got. <sighs> I wanted to make a video about some disappointments recently that I've gone through. My favorite summer foundation is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. It is porcelain, in the color porcelain ivory, SPF 20. And it has that weird little thing, and I've had it in favorites videos before. And it's a really watery based foundation that just, I use it as sunscreen in the summer. And I also just use it regularly because it just evens out my skin tone so well with being so lightweight. It's perfect for the summer. I love it. And I went to Ulta because I'm out of it and it wasn't there and I looked it up and it's been discontinued and I didn't even know that. I didn't even know it was getting discontinued. If I would have known that, I would have gone and got it on sale price. So I'm really upset. So I decided to take this moment to reminisce about some discontinued products that destroyed my life. But first, let's take a moment to be sad about the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. I will remember you. Also, I own some discontinued products. They might be kind of old. This is a judgment-free zone. Another water-based foundation that was introduced to the drugstore that was taken too soon. This is very similar to the Dream Wonder, but this was also discontinued. This is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Bare Skin Perfecting Makeup. It's SPF 18. Listen to it. If you can name me another super liquidy foundation from the drugstore, please do because I love them. And this was also discontinued. And I'm really sad because if I couldn't get that, I would have gotten this, but this is now gone too. L'Oreal just recently, or probably last year, discontinued this and I love it. It's like so thin and liquidy and I just, I really, really liked it. And I'm really sad that it's gone. The Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. Sorry, I have a list on my phone of all of the things I want to talk about. The Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. This was one of the first times I realized makeup discontinuation heartbreak. I love this concealer, not the foundation. The foundation broke me out with cystic pimples. I hated it, but it did look nice, but it did really break me out and Oh my god, I remember buying it for my sister, for my mom, and then it got like discontinued in my late teens. And I was like so upset because I was addicted to it. I just kept buying it. And as a teenager, it was all I wanted. It was the perfect, it just airbrushed under my eyes. And sometimes to this day, I feel like I haven't found a concealer that has done what that concealer did for me. I loved it so, so, so much. And I remember being so, so, so mad when it got taken away from me. Taken away. They took it away. I feel like Maybelline is one of the worst brands for just discontinuing shit. Like, stop doing it, Maybelline. At least tell a sister first before you break up with me. And I will always love you. Let's reminisce, shall we? These mofos. I remember everyone being obsessed with these and they would come out with new shades in their collection and these were the NYC Blushable Cream Sticks. And yes, I still have some. These were like $3, beautifully blended, just illuminating cream blushes. 
from NYC. Oh my God. They were so cheap. And I remember everyone losing their minds about them. They loved them. And they just discontinued them. I don't even think, like everyone was still talking about how much they loved them. They had just come out with a new collection and then boom, they were just gone. Like in a blink of an eye, they were just history. And I don't even know why. Like everyone raved about them and the NYC was like, damn, we're selling something for cheap and people like it. Pull that thing off the frickin' shelves. We cannot have good quality makeup in the NYC line for this sheep. We just can't. It has to be crap. So they pull these from the shelves and I will never understand why because everybody frickin' lost their minds about them and I loved them. I think I wore one to like my goddamn prom. But they frickin' pulled it from the shelf. Like, why NYC? Why? Bye, bye, bye. a sip of homemade iced coffee with me and let's continue on with our list oh my god the l'oreal hip line everybody loved that the eyeshadows the gel liners remember these suckers they were so pigmented i remember the silver and the black and silver duo was just insane like everybody also lost their minds about these i remember that was when I was a teenager and I used to walk to Walgreens. It took me like 30 minutes and I was like, I gotta, oh my God, I remember it was buy one, get one free a lot. Remember when the drugstores used to do buy one, get one free? God, I feel like nothing changes in my life. And then when I look back, everything's different. They don't do those promotions anymore. Let's be real. Now everything's buy one, get 50% off. But drugstores used to do a lot of promotions that were buy one, get one free. And L'Oreal Hip was on buy one, get one free a lot. And it was that, I was walking. I was crossing the graveyard, crossing the tracks down to get to goddamn Walgreens to get my buy one, get one free. L'Oreal Hip eyeshadows, they were like eight bucks for the duos. They were cream of the crop, tip of the top. Every top list I read from like Total Beauty and Cosmo, they were the eyeshadow to have from the drugstore. Everyone compared them to like MAC and everything like that and they were awesome. And then the gel liners, there was like a midnight cobalt blue one and a teal one. I used to wear them to work as a party host at an arcade all the time and I loved them. And then one day they were just like, you know what? This line is doing too well. Let's just yank it. Let's just get rid of it. I still read about people missing like the jelly bombs by them and the gel liners and the eyeshadows and I'm like, damn, I really miss L'Oreal Hip. Like, why did they pull it off the shelf? And I'm like, I don't know. Why did they? L'Oreal, why? Now, it's just really sad. It's really sad. God damn, I'll miss those little things. I'll miss them. It's a good thing tears never show in the pouring rain. big hit so I can understand why it was discontinued but it was literally only around for a year that I actually liked was the Revlon airbrush foundation that was in the spray mousse can. This was when airbrush foundations were getting really popular and Revlon released it and it was really sparkly just like their photo ready line but it did give me a really airbrushed look and I liked it and it really smelled bad but Revlon did pull it very fast very swiftly it was gone. a brand in general that was just taken away from us like that and this is when I first started really getting into makeup so I was like all about it and like buying it and their mascaras were bomb so I barely even got to try it and now I'm really jealous of people in the UK who post it all the time and it's Max Factor. I remember Max Factor being in like Kmart and even Walmart and then one day it was just gone. They literally were just like you know what there's too many popular dupes that you can get for cheap from Max Factor. Let's just yank it. Let's just get rid of it. Americans don't need this shit. It's too cheap. It's too nice. Don't let them have it. I realize I'm probably offending a lot of people right now because in other countries, you guys are a lot more limited to your makeup supply, but you have Max Factor and they took it from us. I don't know why we had it when I was younger. Then they just yanked a whole brand. Can you still get it in America? I have no idea, but I remember when you can. And I miss those days because I didn't get a chance to try a bunch of the stuff that they had. And I remember really liking everything that I tried from them. 
before they got taken from us Americanos, okay? Damn. I'm so sad. Sad. Now, Bath and Body Works, you are infamous for taking things that people love. That's why you just recently released a whole throwback collection and people lost their damn minds. Now, to be fair, I went to a clearance sale when I was a junior in college and I walked in and it was like the 75% off sale and I smelled this lotion and it was the lemon vanilla lotion. Oh my God, I love lemon scented anything and vanilla and if you add it, it was like a lemon sugar cookie of pure bliss. I remember buying two shower gels, two lotions, and then there was a spray, but I was in college, so me spending like $20 was like, oh my god, I can't spend $20, I'll die. So I never got the spray, and I was like, it's fine, <laughs> they'll have it. Because a lot of times when they do the 75% off sales, it's like Japanese cherry blossom. It's just kind of like overstock, and you can just go right back in and get it, or you can look at it on Amazon. And then I loved, I fell in love with the lotion. Like I couldn't stop wearing it. The guy I was dating at the time, I would be like, smell me, smell me, smell me, smell me. Oh, smell me, it was my favorite scent ever. And I proclaimed it as my favorite scent ever. And then I looked it up and it was discontinued. And I looked on eBay and Amazon and it was like, for the spray, that's all I wanted. It was like $70. I was like, what? No way in hell am I paying $70. And I regretted that moment of not buying the spray for so long. And every single time they would do like a, I would always check back and be like, lemon verbena, lemon grass, lemon tubello. And I was like, I want the lemon vanilla back. And I was really freaking upset about it. So I just kept checking back for years, years, four years, I think I kept going back and checking. And I just was so mad. And to this, and to that day, I was just like, Meg, why did you not buy it? You could have smelled like a lemon goddamn sugar cookie. So fast forward to last year, I walk into a clearance sale and I saw berry vanilla, which was in the same rating as that. And I dug through and I found body sprays. I bought five of the body sprays. I was that pumped. I was just beside myself that I bought five and I haven't seen it since, but it just randomly appeared at that Bath and Body Works I walked into and I wasn't even gonna go in. I was like, I've been looking for four years. It's not gonna be there. Dude, I was on cloud nine for like five days when I found that stuff and I still have it. I still have all five and I'm like holding on to it with dear life. But why did you discontinue such a delicious, wonderful thing Bath and Body Works for stuff that smells like hooker sprays instead? God. was the Revlon Color Burst Lipsticks. They were actually adorable. Cuter than any Revlon packaging that's ever happened. And I loved them. They were so creamy and amazing. And the quilted packaging was just so cute. And they had a color called Soft Rose. I still have it. I'll show it to you. These things were amazeballs. This isn't the color Soft Rose. This is the most flattering lipstick I have ever encountered in my life. My sister steals this lipstick all the time. Um, I used this lipstick on my sister for her wedding day. It looks like that. This is the color. I ration this lipstick. I'll swatch it for you. Oh my gosh. It's just the most, it just looks good on everyone. I use it on brides and they love, everyone I've ever used this lipstick on has been like, oh my God, what is that? I love it. I'm like, yeah, me too. If you find it, let me know, okay? Why would they discontinue these lipsticks? Everybody loved these lipsticks. And this color, like, you can see, like, I should have used it up, but I'm literally rationing it because I love it so much. And so does everyone else. It still smells good. They, I remember they did smell bad. The whole line smelled bad. But this lipstick needs to be brought back. ASAP. Get on it, Revlon. ASAP. Baby, come back. reminiscing on products that I wish hadn't been discontinued. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what product you miss. 
down below that was taken from you too soon. Too soon. I always watch people's makeup collections. They pull out the drawer and they're like, this is my backup drawer. And it's like filled to the brim. I'm like, why do you need that? Why do you need that backup drawer? Like why? And then I realized when I walked into Ulta and my foundation was gone, I realized why people have backup drawers. Cause it is devastating to find out that your favorite product has been discontinued. Like what the hell? It's like losing a family member. Come on. You're making my life more difficult. I'm literally sitting in the drugstore typing liquidy foundation, water-based foundation, dupe for this, and I'm just not getting crap. Yeah, I get like some $98 foundation from Sephora. Nah, -uh. no. Give me back my $9 Dream Wonder Maybelline foundation. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you had an awesome night or day or wherever the hell you are, what you're doing. Thank you so much. Bye. Look at the camera. I have a double chin now. Look at me here. Look. Look at me here. Yeah, big dumbo. Hi, you're very beautiful. Uh.